So my name is uh, Dr. Richard Silvera. I am an assistant professor of infectious diseases at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. So monkeypox is a viral infection, um, part of a family of viruses called orthopox viruses, um, which all kind of cause similar symptoms. The symptoms of monkeypox are very similar to chickenpox symptoms. You might have systemic symptoms like fevers, chills, muscle aches, swollen glands, um, as well as skin lesions. So monkeypox cause specifically firm bumps on the body. They generally occur as in the genital area or the anal area, but they can be anywhere on the body, including inside the mouth, on the body, on the torso, on the hands, anywhere really can have a monkeypox style lesion. So monkeypox has not been deadly in our current US outbreak. Um, there have been monkeypox has been around for, for a long time and there have been outbreaks all over the world. It is a um, epidemic virus in Africa, so we have infections every year. And in, in, that, in Africa, it has been particularly uh, dangerous among children. But here in the US so far, there have been no deaths associated with monkeypox. So monkeypox is infectious, it is contagious, it's spread from person to person contact. Um, it is not as contagious as COVID-19 is. Um, so monkeypox is primarily spread through skin to skin contact, so close intimate contact. There is some less, less limited respiratory spread, but that's really from very close face to face contact. So you wouldn't have to be worried about catching monkeypox from say being in the same room as someone who has monkeypox. It'd really be like face to face close breathing on another person. Yes, we have two vaccines to prevent monkeypox. One is called the Genos vaccine. The other one is called the ACAM 2000 vaccine. So primarily in the US, we're using the Genos vaccine. So, mon so most cases of monkeypox would not require treatment. Most people who contract monkeypox, the lesions will resolve and they'll fully recover without any intervention. Some people may require special treatment. That might be people who are pregnant, people who have particularly painful lesions or lesions in a particular part of the body that can be difficult for doing things like eating or having bowel movements. Um, as well as people who are immunosuppressed or have other medical problems, they may benefit from treatment. We have a medication called tocoviramat, sometimes called TPOX, um, which can be given to people who are at a particular high risk of getting a monkeypox or outcome, um, and that's given to us by the CDC. So monkeypox is not a sexually transmitted disease. Monkeypox is spread through intimate contact, and sex is just one form of intimate contact can, that can spread monkeypox. But any sort of skin-to-skin -skin close contact can spread monkeypox. So that could be something like hugging, um, dancing shirtless in a, in a packed club, playing touch football, um, any of those things could lead to a monkeypox infection. Sex is just one, one of the many ways that people engage in intimate contact, and that could lead to an infection, but sex alone is not the only way of contracting monkeypox. First and foremost, uh, basic uh, kind of hygiene things like hand washing, wearing a mask while you're in public, um, seeking care if you have a lesion that you're worried about, um, and if you do have monkeypox, staying isolated until your lesions fully resolve, um, as well as having open communication with your intimate partners. So uh, if you have a lesion, letting your partners know about that. If they have lesions, asking them about them and having them disclose that to you, as well as um, communicating about your other risks that you may be engaging in to try and keep your, you and your, your partner safe, as well as getting vaccinated if you're eligible. Um, it's unclear, but I would say probably no. Um, monkeypox, as I mentioned earlier, can be more severe in children. But at this point in, a, in the US epidemic, most cases have been among adults. There have been very few cases among children. And so our best get bet of protecting children will be keeping adults safe, trying to contain monkeypox outbreaks right now and trying to keep anyone who's at risk protected from, from contracting monkeypox. Just kind of just to summarize that monkeypox is not a sexually transmitted disease. It is spread through intimate contact. Sex is just the most common form of intimate contact. Um, no one particular group of people is more likely to contract monkeypox than others. It just may be um, what communities have higher rates of infection right now, but no particular person is at high risk of contracting infection because of who they are. Um, and then if you are sick, getting care. If you have, if you have monkeypox, please isolate until your lesions are fully recovered and um, try to work together with health professionals and public health officials to keep our community safe.